What setting would you like this evening, sir? Fantasy? Post apocalyptic. Apocalyptic, alright. We'll go with fantasy later. <coughs> would you like to be a soldier, a scavenger, a survivor, or a courier? A survivor. I'm a survivor. I'm not gonna give up. Oh, my dang fucking thing. Oh, I'm good at this. Alright. What is your character's name? Bubba Yonk! Bubba Yonk! Perfecto. <laughs> Alright. You are Bubba Yonk! A survivor trying to survive in a post-apocalyptic world by scavenging among the ruins of what is left. You have a hatchet and a hunting rifle. You live in a small community of survivors who have managed to build a piece of civilization after the bombs fell. You are talking to one of the leaders of the community when suddenly... Wow. When you suddenly hear a noise outside. What's going on? The leader asks. Is that somebody else? Is it me? Question mark. What do you do? Investigate. We go outside and investigate. Investigate the sound. You run out into the street and see a large group of people running away from something. They look like they are being chased by some sort of creature. But it isn't just any monster. It looks almost human. A goose. <laughs> a goose. <laughs> I'm gonna die by a goose again. What happens next? It's, uh, it's a goose. I run back inside and be like, "There's, there's a goose." <laughs> All right. Uh, do. I hope he dies by a goose first. Run back inside and yell. It's a goose. Caboose. You run back inside and shout at everyone to get inside as fast as possible. When you open the door, you find yourself staring down a giant goose! <laughs> it has been stripped of all its feathers and now resembles more of an ugly beak than anything else. <laughs> uh, pull the knife out of my back pocket and try to stab it. You don't have a knife. You have a hatchet and a hunting rifle. Okay. Well, pull the hatchet and throw it at him. I don't know why I wouldn't shoot, but I'm throwing the hatchet anyways. If I survive this encounter, I'm using the rifle. You quick. <laughs> <There's> no <noise! laughs> Okay, no, never mind. Okay. Even though I said hatchet, you quickly grab your hunting knife and throw it at the goose. <laughs> Unfortunately, the blade doesn't even make contact with the bird and instead bounces off into the air. It then begins to fly towards you before you can react again. Oh my god, the goose. <laughs> Get stabbed in the arm. Start to flee and take a random pop shot behind me. You fall backwards onto the ground and begin to feel pain shoot through your arm. You try to stand up, but another stab hits you in the side of the leg, causing you to stumble forward. A bullet whizzes past your head and you lose all feeling in your right arm. Oh my god. Man, I'm a bad survivalist. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Slowly try to crawl away. Ignoring the pain. You crawl away from the area where you were shot and begin to ignore the pain. You continue crawling until you reach a nearby house. There, you collapse from exhaustion and stop moving completely. <sighs> Pull the... I'm still stabbed right now, right? I, 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 I think so. I think, you're, I, look, I think you got stabbed and shot. Okay, well, <laughs> pull the knives out and start to dig out the bullet. You carefully pull out the bullet and examine it. It, it seems to be made of lead, which means that it was probably a high-powered weapon. <laughs> you pick up, you pick up that the goose was using a rifle. <laughs> <laughs> you pick up the hatchet and look around for somewhere to hide while you wait for the police or other authorities to arrive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, start making random honk noises to see if I can lure the goose to me. You make a few random honk noises to see if you can get the attention of the goose that you may kill it. This works well enough, and eventually you hear a noise coming from behind one of the houses. Uh, let's see. Climb the wall of the house to try to get elevation. To jump on the back of the goose and slit its throat. <laughs> I will not die by a goose again. 
You climb the wall of the house and look over to see if there's any any way to hide. There are several places, but none of them seem suitable as they are close to since they are too close together. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, don't worry, I can fix this. Jump on the goose. You leap onto the back of the goose and begin to hack at it with your knife. The goose screams loudly as you cut into its neck, but you manage to finish it off by cutting through its chest. Hey, hold on, hold on. Give me those goose, those goose screams of death. Yonk! Yonk! <laughs> the goose falls dead onto the ground, leaving a bloody mess. Oh shit! <laughs> I just thought about the rhinos and <laughs> freaking Conan <laughs> and you making that sound. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's dead. It's dead. It's on the ground. It's okay, cut out its heart and eat it. Oh my god! You slice open the goose chest and pull out its heart. You eat it greedily, greedily, and it, and quickly pass out from blood loss. When you wake up, you find yourself lying next to a corpse of a woman who looks very familiar to you. Who looks very similar to you. Goose was a woman! It was a shapeshifter! Oh my god. The story goes deep. Slowly try to investigate her. You walk over to the body of the woman and examine her face. She has long black hair and wears a dress with a large collar. Her eyes are closed. But you notice that she does have a tattoo on her left shoulder blade. Who... Who am I? Ah, uh, let's see. <laughs> Tell her you're a friend, and you're trying to figure out what happened. I'm a friend, and I'm trying to figure out what happened. She opens her eyes and smiles at you. Oh! Oh, yes! You're not just any friend. You're my sister's boyfriend! Stab her in the throat. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you, s you stab her in the throat. Blood splurts all over you. She gasps for breath. You feel like you've been stabbed ten times, but somehow managed to survive. What did you do? How did you survive? Uh... Help her up and start walking back to the, uh, <laughs> leader. <laughs> She'll forget about it. She's fine. You stand up and help her. She grabs your hand and walks alongside you towards the leader. He's looking at you with an angry expression, but doesn't attack. It was him! She says, pointing to the man standing nearby. He killed everyone! Shoot the rifle at him. You aim the gun at the man and fire. Bullets fly pla pla bu oh, wow. English. <laughs> Bullets fly past you as he cries out in pain. He runs away, but turns around when he sees you firing at him. No! No, no, no! Aim in between his eyes. Shoot him. You aim, the bu you aim between his eyes and shoot. <laughs> okay. This is just exactly a, basically a repeat. You aim between his eyes and shoot. Bullets fly past you as he cries out in pain. He runs away, but turns around when he sees you shooting at him. No! 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 The bullets hit his head, killing him instantly. Turn around and walk away. That's right. Cool guys don't look at explosions. You turn around and walk away. The rest of the group follows behind you, which, ca which causes them to look at you strangely. They begin to ask questions about how you survived this ordeal. Eventually, they leave without asking any more questions. Return to girlfriend to get bandaged up. You return to your girlfriend to get bandaged, bandaged up. She looks at you with tears in her eyes and hugs you tightly. You hug her back, then kiss each other before leaving the hospital room. Look outside and see the city's on fire. You look outside and see the city's on fire. You don't know why, but you feel compelled to go check it out yourself. You run through the streets and jump onto a moving vehicle. It speeds off in the distance, leaving you alone once again. Seeing in the, the distance, see another giant goose. Okay. Uh, you are driving down the road when suddenly notice something strange. A gigantic goose has appeared in the distance. It's so big that it can be seen from far away. There's nothing else out there except for the huge bird, so you decide to follow it. Speak to self and say, not today, Satan. Pull a pistol out and shoot yourself in the head. Quickly pull over and hide under the car. You wait until nightfall and then slowly approach the goose. When you reach its neck, you shoot yourself in the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Bleed on the goose and ride into the distance. In this, like a goose cowboy movie. You bleed out on the goose and ride off into the sunset. <laughs> Couldn't even think of any. Yeah, you broke the game. <laughs> Congratulations! I didn't die by the goose this time. I killed a goose. And then killed yourself. And then killed myself. <laughs>
perfect.